Welcome everybody, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can use LastPass. In this tutorial I'm going to also show you how we can use the LastPass extension so you get the full experience in this tutorial. Now the first thing that you want to do after you come to the LastPass website is go to top right and click get LastPass free. If you already have account guys just skip this step. So the first thing that you want to do is to write an email address here and then master password. I recommend recommend having the master password really unique with at least 12 characters long, one number, one lowercase letter and uppercase. So I'm going to add it right here. So that's like really long and unique. Then I'm going to confirm it. And reminder, bank sign up it's free now again you just add reminder and you're good to go now we just wait until it loads and here we go install the browser extension then log in using the account you just created let's say we are going to install the last pass right now as extension and click add to chrome add extension And voila, here we have it. So you're almost done. And it's going to get us directly. Let's get started. Remind later, and I'm going to show you everything, how it actually works and what you can actually achieve with LastPass. So let me just get LastPass here. Okay. Now, when you would come here to the LastPass uh, account, You're going to see all items then we are going to look on how we can add passwords i'm going to show you how you can add notes addresses payment cards bank account then we will look on the security dashboard on how your passwords are doing and also we are going to see the dark web monitoring if your accounts or if your email addresses are hacked sharing center here i will show you how we can uh, add a shared folder for your family emergency access so these are the people that you trust. And the next thing that we will start with are account settings. Like what you can do actually. And this is how we are going to start because it's important to have your settings optimized for everything. So the first thing first, when you come here, account email master password that you can change here. You can also view the master password reminder. Then you see the type of your account information, language and time zone. And also my recommendation is definitely have account recovery right here. Multi-factor options. Uh, these are the options that you can have enabled. So LastPass, Google. I, for example, use the Google one. One time verifications fold on your phone. And it's pretty good. And these are also for the premium ones. So you can definitely use the last pass if you want to. And this is the good one if you really want to have your account secured. Trusted devices. Now here, if you're going to log in with your mobile, if you're going to use, uh, let's say on your computer, you would have trusted that last pass will know that if you're going to use these devices, you don't have to skipping the multi-factor, right? You don't have to log in with that. Mobile devices, you would find them here too. Never URLs, turn off LastPass on specific sites, click add and choose the LastPass functionality. Or you don't want to use when visiting that URL. So you would click add here and like what kind of URL you, you want to turn it off. Equivalent domains. And this is something that you can add. So let's say I would have, as you can see, Emirate and TD Emirate log into the same website. So if you're going to be in TD Emirate and Emirate.com, you would have it as the same login. So this is something that you can do. And last thing, URL URLs. Again, host matching, port matching type. So this is something that you can optimize too. Now, when you go even further on advanced options, 
you can import, export your vault, you can add identities, and then you can also manage one-time passwords and generate secure password. So you can have some advanced options here. And now let me start on how we can add passwords in LastPass. First thing first, I'm going to click on passwords, go on the bottom, right? And I can add a new folder or add new item. I'm going to click on add new item. And I'm going to add twitter.com, let's say, name Twitter, folder social, username, I'm going to name it inside password. Then I got notes and advanced settings. So this is really important, guys. Require master password reprompt. What does it mean is that if you would like to log in to your Twitter account, you would need to also um, add master password, auto login and disable autofill. Auto login means if I'm going to press it on, in the moment when I'm going to come on the twitter.com, it will auto log me. It will fill it and log me. And you can disable autofill. So disable autofill is that you have to actually paste it from your extension. Let me show you. So I'm going to show you all these, like ma mainly primarily auto login and disable autofill because these are important. Click save here. Okay, so I have twitter.com. I'm going to launch it. And as you can see, so I can simply click here, last fill. Okay, you see how it works. Now, let's say I'm going to edit that and I'm going to have auto login here. See, it auto logs me. So when I'm going to log out, I'm going to log in, use phone, and I'm right here. So when I'm going to wait for a moment, it would auto log me there straight away. See, it logs me back. Again, as you can see, we have auto login here. And what I can do is disable autofill. So it won't autofill at all. Log out, log out. And I'm going to sign up with phone and email. Sorry, no. Login. See, I need to click on this and click password. Of course, you can find it on the top right on your extension is that you would find your password. You can also open your wallet. Uh, you can find recently used. You can find all items here as a passwords, notes, addresses, or you can simply add items straight away in your application. That's really similar comparing to the world. You can also generate secured password. So that's how it works and that's how, what you can do. Now when I'm going to click back on a, my last pass passwords and that's pretty much it how we can do it. So that's how we can do and add a password. Let's go further and let me show you how we can simply add a note. Guys, if you can have any questions about passwords, ask me down in comments. I'm really happy to help you. So when I'm going to click on notes, I can simply click pass and add a note. So let's say this would be um, how to be happier. And if I'm going to a folder, I have folder social, but let's say I'm not going to have folder social. I can simply name it guides, or I could have like notes here of my best quote. And I would write here first, accept what is happening right now. Everything starts with acceptance. Then learn how to be more peaceful. Only because happiness will come easily then. 
try to ask yourself a question. What can I solve that bothers me? What things, this is a really good question, am I doing that are not healthy for me? Really good question. Maybe primarily this one. Click save. And this is how you, would I have it? Guides. In passwords, I have social one. In notes, I have a guides folder. And in that, I have how to be happier. What you can do is also, like also with password, you can delete it or click shared here. And you can have a recipient email address and share it with someone. So the next thing that I'm going to show you are addresses. Here, I'm going to click plus here. And again, this is really similar and really straightforward. Name, I would have home. First name would be Marcus Stone. Gender, birthday, address, city and town, county, state, country, time zone, email address. So I would fill everything here for my home address. I'm not going to, of course, I can add. So this is how would I do it? Click save. And this is how we can simply add an address. As you can see, we would have the addresses here, the guides, the social. Then we're going to have the payment cards here. And I'm going to show you how we can simply add payment card. I would go to the bottom, add a tie, add an item, name. Let's see, this would be debit card. Type debit number. Security code would be like this. Start date. You know what we would what would be funny if I would randomly <laughs> just created some. And N would be like this. Click save. And this is how we would have your own payment card. Debit card right here. So now, right now, when I would be paying for something, I can simply use it. See, I got to see the debit card right here. So when I'm going to pay for something, I could easily just pay it, fill with debit card when I'm going to pay for something. Then the last thing that I'm going to show you is how we can use the bank account. And then we will go to the security dashboard. So I'm going to click on the bottom plus name. That's the name of my bank. I would have a bank name here, account type, normal. And this would be my IBAN number, pin, branch address, branch phone. This is really important like to like add it out. But this is how we can add a bank account, then click save. And voila, we have the bank accounts. The last thing, or one of the last things are security dashboard. And you see right here, so security score. And this is really, really good. You would have security dashboard here, multi-factor. We don't have it, so I would like click activate. And this is where you would get right here so you can uh, just download it from your app and it's like pretty straightforward how we can use it so my recommendation is activated it you would have trusted devices the number of devices where you've chosen to skip multi-factor for 40 days at risk passwords we could re uh, watch the passwords and we see the password strength is all right permitted mobile devices i can again manage it 
and then we're going to see the dark web monitoring i can click start monitoring right here all said if you're involved in breach we will alert you here and send an email and then you would have this is how the security dashboard works and what you can actually do with the security dashboard the next thing is a sharing center so i would click on the sharing center and i can add a shared folder and now you have to upgrade uh, to have it like shared with others secure shared passwords and other sensitive information so this is what you can do and also people can share with you the other who is using actually LastPass then we're going to see the emergency access so again I think this is what you do uh, email address when you trusted contact requests emergency access you can decline the request within the specific waiting period and you can have it immediately three hours 48 hours three days seven days 14 days 21 days or 40 days so this is pretty much how we do it and then when you click here on advanced options as i mentioned you're going to have the upgrade here based on if you want to go with the premium families themes you can manage your world here you can add identities you can export and you can also improve your security generate strong password that you can then copy and use or you can manage one time one time passwords so this is pretty much it how we do it and you can generate one password right here or something and then credit monitoring free daily credit monitoring so if you can have the credit here uh, you would watch it so this is pretty much it how we can use LastPass guys if you can have any questions ask me down in comments this was the LastPass tutorial LastPass guidance how to use LastPass LastPass mm, tutorial LastPass beginner's guide last pass 2022-2021 last pass how to use it you know how it goes you know how it is thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya